All right, Prismatic Prelude, here we go. Level up, shopping spree? I think it's level up. This set has so many great units in, in the late game, I feel like it's level up. Going long? Mm. I feel like level up's just better. Harmasis could have been okay too. We could go March of Progress for our duelists. I feel like you want to hit Aurelia though for duelists. Let's go level up. Let's go level up. And then we can go Bruiser. This Bruiser's better though. Maybe we just go the Hodge on Volibear. I think he's just an item holder, though. I don't think they were actually playing Duelist later. Am I okay here? I think so. With all the healing that Volibear has, I think we're okay. Unless we get stunned at, like, the wrong time here. No, but that looks like a fine stun to me. Yeah, like, I should be able to heal through this. One, two... We just both got knocked up at the same time. It's so cute. Oh, never mind. Felios is broken. Kidding. Felios is actually, he's, he's, he's pretty balanced. Um, I mean, Amumu is exalted. Do we do anything with that? We, I mean, we have Faded as well. Maybe we play the Faded. Right? Faded and then Porcelain. Oh wait, we need to play that. This is AD. Maybe I should have done eight, eight. Yeah, maybe I should have done AD. Just do that for right now. That was probably a blunder. Probably. I have, I've never really played Faded though, so that's 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 my that's why I was thinking about doing it. Because I really need to learn how to play Faded. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go to uh, ten gold. Yeah, so I think that I do this. I think I go AD instead. I think that'll be better overall for the entire team. Honestly, we could go Faded Porcelain. Faded Porcelain works. Because then you could go... Your Faded Units. If we want to go Faded Porcelain, then we can. But um, what works is... You have Ash in there as well. That's what works. Great Lucky Gloves by Yasuo. It's the Immolation build. So what other Fateds are there? There's... There's Kindred. Kindred would probably be okay. The Warden is set. Which, I mean, we're playing level up, right? So... We want attack speed. Attack speed, and then it's also a Warden. Warden Arcanist, no doubt. So we can play Alawi for a good while. Alawi's a, a good splash for, for a real good while. And we can just, uh, I think, hold the attack speed items on Ari, because we'll probably end up switching her out for, um, honestly, just set. I don't even think we need more, more backline with this comp. Yeah, but if we go Faded Sniper, I think it'll work out fine. Or, better yet, maybe we just... No, but I don't, I don't want to make this into a Giant Slayer is the thing. I really don't want to make this into a Giant Slayer. I think if we turn it into a Giant Slayer, we are trolling a little bit. I think we want a Mumu to be... I think we want a Mumu to be on the middle. 
Actually, let's do this. I think that that will, like, 50-50 them. But we want Aphelios in this endgame comp, but I don't want this bow to go to him. So that's why we're not putting it on him. I wanted to go to it at, to Ash. Amumu heals your um, your allies, by the way. That's that's why I was doing this, because Amumu heals any allies in the tiers. And look at how much he healed there. Fourteen hundred. We could go Porcelain 4. It's just a little bit awkward. Honestly, Porcelain 4 wouldn't wouldn't be that bad, right? Porcelain 4 wouldn't be that bad, I don't think. Because if we go... If we go 4 Warden, maybe we can make it work with 4 Warden. We can go... Um, drop the Yasuo for Syndra, maybe? Then we can go 4 Arcanist. Honestly, we don't even need to go for Warden for that. We could just play for Arcanist with it. Then we go, like, set. Set frontline. It's a very mixed team I have right now. But with my plan, maybe it's worth... See, I don't know, though, because that's that that's putting a lot of pressure on just these units, right? Because we're going to have Set and Amumu as our, as our sole frontliners. That doesn't sound very, very enticing, very appetizing. And now it's actually definitely better to take this out. Hello? There we go. And probably not, maybe slam the Hodge on him, but not, but not the bow. Like, most likely. Don't think we're playing Diana at all. We do have two Exalted though. We could play her for, for three Exalted, which will help me get to the later levels. Is it Nashers? It might be Nashers. Nasher's Deathblade. I think it might be Deathblade on Aphelios, though. You know what we do? We level, we throw in the Exalted. We have three Exalted at this point. We have three Exalted. And then we do... Probably not Nasher's. Probably just... Deathblade Hodge here. And then we can pick up this Caitlyn for if we ever feel like leveling up to 7. Which we could do now, but it's... I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that right now. Slam the belt on the Amumu, because I know that he's going to be a big part of our team later. I think Porcelain's pretty good on set, too. Uh, we don't want to hold the Caitlyn there. We want to make money. And this Exalted is actually not that great with level up. Exalted is not that great with level up. It helps, but it's very inefficient in comparison to everybody else. The actual damage that you get from him is, is great, though. I'm wondering when this would actually be a bad thing. Like, when you would decide not to. You know? That guy wanted to do it, but he but but he went in too late. Now we didn't get our gold orb. Radiant Refactor. Honestly, the masterwork upgrade could help me. Could help me transition a little bit easier too. Or maybe it's like Ginsu's Reckoning. Blinding speed though? Blinding speed's probably better than the Radiant Refactor, because we want to have both of our backline carries set up, right? Tiny but deadly wouldn't be bad either. I think I'm gonna go blinding speed. Blinding speed. That way we can we can you know work with both of them. So we go red buff here. 
We're gonna go double Ginsu's for my for my Ash, and then we'll go Last Whisper. Do we? No, no, he sunders, so I'm I'm gonna go GS instead. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Then when we find our Ash, then we are in the clear. And Ari's gonna be doing a decent amount of damage here too, so. Let's let's not let's not forget about that. Big damage from Mr. Ophelios over here. Hog. Yeah, I don't think we're going for porcelain, honestly. Unless we find a porcelain emblem. No, I don't think so. I think we just go more wardens. Right, so we go. Uh, Alawi, and we go Nautilus. That's our endgame comp. Except we take out the Ari. Take out the Ari because she's not going to be useful. And then we play just some kind of legendary splash, something in there. Because I don't think we're going six warden either. We could just play like Udir. We could play the Lissandra, too. Lissandra would be fine. Well, I mean, like... We could play the four the four Arcanist. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Who did the most damage there? His Aphelios? Excuse me? His team was just tankier than mine, I guess. Yeah, his Yasuo was super tanky. And he had Final Ascension. But if I can hit my 3-star Aphelios, hit an Ash. There's Ash. That's a perfect item for me, too, if I can hit it. But that's going to be... I'm third pick, so... I'm third pick. Yeah, no. Let's pick up this. Yeah. Okay. I think that the that, that the cloak is going to be better later, because then we can build it into, like, a uh, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw, Adaptive Helm. Something better. It's not worth to go 7 yet. We don't have anything to put in for 7. This girl could be better. But I think that having the... Actually, she's better than... Yeah. Or, is it better to fate these two together? Just because they have all the items. That That's probably that's probably it. Maybe I should have kept the Asuo then, if that's the case. But it is a one-star Yasuo, so... If I find a Thresh, then that's probably a, a, a better use of that. Yeah, you see, Ari's doing way more damage now that she has that AP. This was definitely the play. Ari's also doing a good amount of um, physical damage. Because she's faded with, with uh, Mr. Ophelios over here. There's the Thresh. You can sell these, level up, just throw in another Alawi for right now. Or, actually, it's Kaelin. Throw in Kaelin. Then we have Ghostly, we have Sniper. This guy's got ZZ Rot with Randuins. You guys got a very fully built Amumu. Ari's doing great. As soon as we find this Ash, we are swapping over. Alright, nice. We don't want this Kaelin because then it's going to ruin our Econ. 
For having a level up, I feel like we're actually not that far ahead in levels. I think my econ kept getting destroyed because I, I couldn't keep up a streak. Well, I mean, Lissandra's worth putting in. If I can find... If I can... Uh, yeah, I think Lissandra's worth putting in. 1% Lissandra. That's kind of just a sign. You know? Because we have enough damage. If we focus fire where Lissandra's casting, then we can probably get some loot orbs. Oh my god, the bows. Not good. Not good at all. Maybe we just go... I don't even know, man. We definitely put this in, though. We definitely put that in. We only have three Arcanist. Oh, boy. What do I even do with these items? I'm gonna have to put, like, a red buff on somebody, I think. Because what else am I gonna do with it? I think I just red buff her. Frankly. But I keep these just in case I can do, like, D-Claw Steadfast Heart. That's the plan. She didn't cast at the right time. Oh, teapot, teapot, loot orb. Yeah. All right, cool. And we have our warmogs. Wonderful. See, this, this, this Lissandra is going to be able to to get me some much needed, much much needed items. Ba boom. Kindred did do a decent amount of damage with ba boom. We're gonna have our final augment here. You have my sword, long distance pals, and cybernetic bulk. Probably gonna be cybernetic bulk. I really need. Oh, I also took out Exalted. I forgot about that. So I can I can play this a little bit differently. Cybernetic bulk, probably the play. Crown guarded, if I had the ability to get more crown guards, I probably would, but I think it's cyber bulk. Syndra? I think it's worth holding on to Syndra, but not worth playing Syndra yet. All right, let's spread out some items. Let's spread out some items. We'll do. Let's actually let's just let's just plop this on Alawi, and then we'll do um, cloak on Amumu. Because I know that Cyber Bulk is yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We need two star Amumu, by the way. I think we start rolling at this level. I think this is the level that we really need to just like start playing the game. We could have taken out the Diana for Syndra, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Ludorb? Hey, yo! Ludorbs? Hey, yo! We're winning the 50-50s, y'all. We are winning, winning the 50-50s. Three 50-50s, one every time. What's this encounter? Treasure armory? Okay, give me tank items, please. Not that tank item. Actually, no, even Shroud wouldn't be that great here. Vow. Vow and TG. I'm pretty okay with that, actually. Vow and TG. Let's play the four Arcanist. We'll play Vow on Thresh, put TG here. Then we roll for then we roll for our people. And that's a that's a good warden. We actually we can take out the Thresh for the Warden now. So now we have three faded. Now this looks like 50%. So true, King. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, this looks like 100%. That's what this looks like. Another Warden. We can reposition this a little bit. What do we want? Honestly...
I was going to say either cloak or vest. Cloak or vest. Yeah. Cloak. Who knows? Maybe there was a bug with Lissandra. Maybe she's maybe she's fixed now. Okay, so how about we do this? How about we give the Dragon Claw here? We do Vow on Nautilus. Do we go nine? We go nine for four Warden. Or Warden. We'll do like a tier here. Actually, just do like. Well, I don't think a full, a full vow is important here. I think we want to put this uh, vest on a Mumu, honestly. We'll put this rod on Lissandra. Okay, there was the 50 50. We lost our first 50 50. Nice teapots. See, Lissandra's paying out this time. I don't know what she was on last time, that she was legitimately never giving me any teapots. No loot orbs. Deathblade and Deathcap. They last for three rounds. Okay. Deathblade goes on Caitlyn. Deathblade goes on Caitlyn. I don't think we need this guy. Deathblade, Caitlyn, Deathcap, Lissandra. This guy's got a two-star set. My goodness. Hey, Blue. What's going on, bud? Good to see you. Glad you could make it. We also need a, a two-star Amumu. <laughs> I just... Oh, no. You're traumatized. Oh no. What happened? By how tanky Alawi is this set? She certainly can be. She certainly can be. Hey yo? Are we good here? Oh wait, no, this 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 Kaylin's or this uh Soraka's gonna cap wait? Oh yeah, we're good. All right, so we're level nine. I don't, I don't want to roll. I don't want to to level up to ten. Level ten is is not something we're doing this game. We need to roll for for what we have. We're gonna replace the Syndra, and we're gonna replace the Lissandra. Well, the Lissandra maybe not. Lissandra maybe not. Maybe we just play the three porcelain. It's a little bit awkward, but like Lissandra makes better use of most of these items. Have I done the fast nine all five costs? I tried, failed miserably. Um, I don't really like playing legendary soup, honestly. It's not really, not really my jam. Can I get a vest here? Oh well, that's there's that. All right, let's see what we can find. I guess we hold on to that just in case. Sure. Uh. Can I find Ash, please? There's Ash. There's Set. Now I can replace the Syndra too. No, I'm not going Deathblade on her. Okay. Maybe we just go full tank Set instead. Because now we have now we have a better chance of, of hitting that two star. I mean, I I have I know that I have a Mumu here. No, we'll we'll find new items for set. We'll find new items for set. We could even put this Deathblade on him. Of all the five costs, who would you say is the strongest? I think that strongest is a little bit relative. I think strongest is a little bit relative.
We want to... We probably don't want to replace... I don't think that we, that we want to do... I think that Rakan is definitely up there. I think Rakan is definitely up there. Do we go, do we just go shred? It's possible that that's the play. Well, we have, okay, so here's the plan then. We remove the Ari, we put in Lux, and then we have four Porcelain, four Arcanist instead. You know? I think I'm okay here with the Hodge. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think that this is the plan. Then we get four Porcelain, four Arcanist, three Faded. Um, and actually what we want to do... I mean, the Syndra is great, right? The Syndra is great for giving this guy a little bit more damage. But do we want the Omnivamp for set instead? AD and Omnivamp for set instead? Or maybe it's this play. Remove these and then put these items on Syndra instead. That seems better. That seems better. Somebody's got a three-star Janna. Go, Ash, go! Go, Ash, go! Brrr! <laughs> She sent it out how many arrows that fight? 30? Oh my goodness. And then Syndra actually did a good amount of damage there too. Okay, that was the play. But yeah, I, th I think that Rakan is, is is the strongest, in my opinion. I think he's I think he's up there. Aurelia though. It's Aurelia's Aurelia. You already know. Aurelia is just frustrating. Have I seen Lissandra three star? I have. I have I have seen it, I have not played it. Everybody's a little teapot, short and stout. Alright, I gotta roll. Honestly, I think that it's better to just hold on to this pair than anything. Yeah, Aurelia is super annoying. I think that Aurelia is like... I think Aurelia is like the most frustrating champ to play against. I don't think she's... I don't think she's the strongest. I think she's the most frustrating. Just because like you can have as strong of a front line as you want. She's still going to hit your back line and, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it unless you have another Aurelia. Who's the weakest? Zaya. I don't think it's any contest. I think Zaya is the weakest. So Rakan, I think, is the strongest, and Zaya, I think, is the weakest. It's an unhealthy relationship dynamic. Only ones you haven't tried are Rakan and Azir. Azir is really good. Azir is really good. This guy, though, Legendary Soup. Not Legendary Soup. Heavenly. Wait. It's two-star, oh dear, two-star set. Yeah, it's not Legendary Soup. Three-star Azir is crazy. He put the burr in bird. What, what can I say? If I can three-star my Aphelios, or two-star my Ash, or two-star my set, if I can hit any of these, I'll be in a way, way better spot. Okay, we got through the toughest one. 
Oh, wait, we're good. Oh, come on, man. That final Lilia bomb keeps hitting, <laughs> keeps hitting the Aphelios at just the right time. That's what happened last time I fought that guy, too. All right, three star Nico. This guy's, this guy's a little bit spooky. Is anyone getting close to three star four costs? No, he's only got four. Nobody's getting close to three star four costs. Good. That guy's getting close to three star bard. Let me hold this this Lilia just to make it harder on him. All right, let's see if we can hit our our pairs. Not the pairs I wanted, but it's the pairs I got. Um, I think it's Edge of Night for Lissandra, honestly. So she can actually cast a couple of times. Let's do it this way. Let's position against this Nico. We start to get some stuff here. Good. Are we okay against these trick shots? I think so. I mean, like, we're stacking up. Bard has to stack up, too. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. Who do we face? He's still alive. Oh, there's the ash. Thank goodness. There's the ash. Okay. Well, instead of holding this guy's Lilia, he's only got four. He does have 50 gold, though. He does have 50 gold. So maybe it is worth holding the Lilia. I think it's worth. All right, I just fought this guy. Hopefully he doesn't, hopefully he didn't get stronger. My set still in that back line? Kind of. Not really, though. I think I'm good here. Yeah, my, my front line hasn't died yet. Well, kind of? Yeah, the butterflies are going to kill him. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I don't think that, that hitting this two-star Lissandra is as important as, uh, as, as keeping this guy away from his three-star Lilia. Because three-star Lilia, I think, is the reason that I might lose this if, if I do. Anytime you bench a unit, Malphite knocks their items off. Any position, any repositioning I want to do? I think if I hit two-star set, it's probably better to, to put some tank items on him. Or maybe it's actually... Maybe this is the play. Maybe this is the play. Maybe I do... We do TG on him. Actually, I need to re-roll this TG. Oh, it doesn't work anymore. Okay. Good to know. And then we do... Redemption here. Vow there. Oh, I already I already had that pl as plated. Okay. But the TG on, on set, I think, is just way better. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Let me hit my two stars, and then and then I think we're okay. If I hit my two star set, my two star, my three star Ophelios. Any of my units in here? No set. No Ophelios. There is ghostly, though. We could do ghostly. Steadfast heart. No, I think it's ghostly. We do ghostly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we can put Ghostly on Nautilus as well. There's my Aphelios. Big upgrade. 
huge upgrade. Big, 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 big upgrade. So here's the cool thing, though. Like, if you ever feel like... Mm, actually, is there, a, is there a better positioning that I can do with this? No. This is actually... Yeah, yeah. Best positioning. Or... Yeah, best positioning. This Alawi's Redemption doesn't hit the Amumu, but I think we're okay with that. Three-star Aphelios is a huge upgrade. Okay. Alright. Can we get through this three-star Tom, though? Yes, we can. Then that should be enough. Nice. Is he dead? He actually beats the other guy. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. How close is this guy to his Lilia? He's only he's got five of them. Well, he can't hit now. What does Ghostly do exactly? So once there are seven instances of damages, seven instances of damage against my Ghostly units then that creates specters. Those specters are going to um, give... They're going to attach to an enemy, and then they're going to give damage amp against that enemy, and then those specters will get passed on when they die. So it's really good for focus firing, but it's better to have on tank units because ghostly champions also have passive regen. So, like, you might be able to see the specters around... Um, Nico right now. It's very hard to see, but Spectres are around the Tom Kent right now. Then they pass on to here, and then they pass back here. So those, each of those Spectres right now is giving 6% extra damage against that champion. So it's really good for focus firing. This might be a first. This might be a first. This guy can't hit his 3-star Lilia while I'm alive, so... We might be in the clear here. My set is also at like 96% AD from, uh, from the thingy. From his passive. Three-star Ash Angle. Could be a three-star Ash Angle. I think the better positioning is like this, though. I think that's the best positioning I got. Three-star Ash for the YouTube clicks. True. He also rolled down all of his gold, and he... Still only has five Lilias. Ayo! He used up, he's, he used up all his gold, so now it's time for me to try to go for three star Ash. Ayo! Three star Ash angle. I'm one away. It's possible that we have another fight to look for it. It's possible. If Lissandra can give me a little bit of um if Lissandra can give me a little bit of gold, maybe I maybe I find it. You find Hui's duplicator thing very OP? It, I mean it can be. I think that honestly the, the best way to use Hui is to play like You hope he doesn't hold on to Ash for revenge? He doesn't have the money to hold on to Ash. But I'll tell you in a sec. Best way to use Way.
Oh boy. Oh, we're still good. We're still good. Cool. We fought a ghost, so somebody's dying here. The guy with the Lilias? No! No, that means that I'm not gonna find my Ash because there's so much more in the pool! No! Actually, do we remake for it? Do we take the first or do we go for the clicks? I think we go for the clicks. Ayo, hey, there's the click! We got it! <laughs> Alright, so here's the play. We need to pop off the Hodge. Because the Hodge needs to be the thing that uh We need to give we need to give her Hodge. Hodge, red buff, GS, Death Blade, Red Buff, and then plop this back on her. We did it! Three star ash! Three star ash! Let's go! Go, 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 go! Rain down arrows on them, Ash! <laughs> GG! Alright, those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.